All right, what's up? Um, today I'm going to do a really quick like five minute tutorial on what I learned in office hours. Um, <clears throat> basically, we have in class activity and we're going to do it really quick. Uh, just the first part of this and the first part of the second. So let's start. This is saying which of the following schedules is conflict serializable for each serializable schedule determine the equivalent serial schedules. Um, so this is going to be a little difficult, but it's not impossible. First thing you want to do is start writing out T1, T2, T3. Basically in class, we had that graphic of the tables and I think it's really helpful to see in order. So here's R1X. Right? Um, because it's R1, it's gonna go in table one and you're gonna do a new line. So the second thing is R3. So it's gonna go in table three, R3X, lowercase. And then W1, R2, as you can see, it's everything's looking good so far. And then W3. Awesome. That was pretty simple, right? Now we're going to draw it out because drawing it out is going to help me understand it and explain it better. So here's table one. Also, I think drawing it out, this is what's called a precedence graph. So it's also going to help to explain what a precedence graph is. T3. All right, so there are some rules when drawing arrows and lines and stuff. So the first rule is you can look like across tables. So usually you have to go from read to write to draw a line, but you can also go from write to read to draw a line. So the first example, let's say is read to write. Okay. It's going across a table from read to write and it's going down. Um, the second example could be going the opposite from right from right to read. As you can see here, we have right to read. Okay, so that would also be a line. And then let's start drawing this out. So the first one, R1 to W3, that's just gonna be here. So that's gonna be a line here that looks like that. And you write X. Um, second one, we have R to W, R3 to um, W1. It's gonna be like this. So it's gonna go backwards. Um, we have, so you can go from, write to read, so W1 to W2. That's gonna be an X. And then the last one is R2 to W3. Actually, no, I don't think that's the last one. Um, R2 to w, W3. You can also go from right to right, but in this case, we'd be going from one to three, which we already have. So then this is what it would look like. This is the finished precedence graph. And basically the thing is, if you can start at one node and make your way back to the same node, then it's not conflict serializable. And that's all she said you need to know really. Like, let's start at T2. Can you make your way back to T2? Yeah. If you start at T3, can you make your way back to T3? Yeah. So then it's not conflict serializable. There's no equivalent schedules for this. Um, so you wouldn't have to worry about that. Now let's move on to this. I saved us a little bit of time and I, I wrote down the graph of this. This is like the answer, but I'm gonna explain how I got it and explain why it's so confusing to me. So the first thing that you need to do is like look at these lines and basically you have to write out the serialized schedule that works. Um, so here, let's, let's just draw it again from scratch and then that will explain why it works so well. Also, this answer took me a while to get, so it, this does take a little bit of practice, which we could just practice in person. T3. Okay, so going from T1 to T3, that's gonna be a line, right? Bang. What else? Going from T2 to T1, that's a line. That's bang right there. And then the last one is going from Going from one to three, oh, we already have that. Going from two to three, that's the last one. So that is the equivalent. And basically what you, I think how you'd want to write it out is you would just do this. So R1X, 
x and then i think it's supposed to look yeah you just put a semicolon r1 x r2 x w1 x w3 x. And then like this would be the answer but i think it's going to be a little bit complex because i had to take some guesses that like this is what worked um so yeah, I can kind of try to explain that later on, but I think this is a good base start for now. Um, you should definitely try to practice this though. But yeah, awesome.